Ever wondered why your CPU clocks dip randomly mid-game, even though temps are fine and your PC is plugged in? That's not bad cooling. That's Windows plus Intel or AMD Dynamic Power Throttling, or DPTF PPM, kicking in. These hidden drivers and background governors constantly adjust power limits and CPU states. But for gaming, that means instant stutter, latency spikes, and lost FPS. Today I'll show you five powerful steps to stop Windows DPTF and related power throttling once and for all. We're going into BIOS, Registry, Services, and even driver level tweaks. Let's go. Step one. Identify if DPTF or AMD PPM is active. Before we dive into troubleshooting, it's important to first confirm whether your system is actively running any of these hidden throttling mechanisms. Start by pressing Win plus X and then selecting Device Manager from the menu. Once in the Device Manager, expand the System Devices section. For Intel-based laptops, look for entries related to Intel Dynamic Platform and Thermal Framework. This will include several sub-devices, such as Processor Participant and Power Participant. For AMD systems, search for AMD Power Management or Platform Security Processor and PPM drivers. If you spot any of these, it means Windows is actively throttling your system's performance. Alternatively, you can use the command prompt to confirm this. Run the command power cfg slash energy. This will generate an energy report.html file in your user directory. Open the report and scroll through it. If you notice any warnings like processor throttling due to platform firmware, that's a clear sign that either DPTF for Intel or PPM for AMD is in action. These throttlers are likely reducing your CPU's performance to manage temperature or power. Step 2. Disable DPTF slash PPM drivers in Device Manager. This is one of the quickest ways to eliminate hidden throttling issues. Start by opening Device Manager. Next, right-click each Intel Dynamic Platform and Thermal Framework device and select Disable Device for each one. For AMD systems, go to System Devices and disable AMD Power Management or Processor Power Management controllers. Important warning, disabling these settings could cause your laptop or PC to run hotter, especially if you're using a thin, portable model with limited cooling. However, if you're using a gaming laptop or desktop with proper cooling solutions, this adjustment will help maintain stable clock speeds and prevent sudden performance drops during heavy tasks. Step 3. Unlock hidden Windows power limits via registry. Even after disabling the throttling drivers, Windows still enforces certain hidden power caps that limit your processor's performance. To fully unlock your CPU's potential, we'll need to make some edits to the Windows registry. First, open the registry editor by typing regedit in the search bar and hitting enter. Now navigate to the following path. Here, you'll need to create or edit specific DWORD values to bypass these hidden power restrictions. Edit processor idle disable. Go to Create or modify the attributes D word and set its value to 2. This change reveals the processor idle disable option in your power options. Once you've made these changes, restart your system for them to take effect. Then, go to Control Panel, Power Options, Advanced Settings, and fine-tune these newly unlocked settings for optimal performance. By doing this, you've removed many of the hidden power limits that Windows imposes, giving you more control over how your CPU performs. Step 4. 
Disable firmware throttling via CMD. Windows often relies on ACPI firmware tables from the BIOS to manage CPU throttling, even when your cooling system is perfectly capable of handling higher loads. To bypass this, we can cut the link between Windows and the firmware, preventing it from forcing throttling. Here's how you can do that. Open Command Prompt Admin. Press Win plus X and select Command Prompt or Windows Terminal. Once the Command Prompt window is open, enter the following commands one by one. Disable Dynamic Tick. Force Platform Clock. Force Platform Tick. Enable Enhanced Timestamp Counter Sync. What these changes do? Disable Dynamic Tick. This stops Windows from batching timer interrupts, a tactic that DPTF uses to throttle the CPU. Force Stable HEPT slash TSC usage. This makes sure that the High Precision Event Timer, or HEPT, or Timestamp Counter, TSC, is used for consistent timing rather than letting the firmware have control. Prevents Firmware Clock Drift. With this change, your CPU's clock will remain more stable, reducing firmware-induced throttling events, where the BIOS forces throttling based on temperature or power state. Step 5. Advanced BIOS and Driver Overrides To fully unlock your CPU's potential, you need to tweak both the BIOS settings and drivers that manage power and throttling. BIOS Settings Reboot your PC and enter BIOS or UEFI, usually F2, Delete, or Escape during boot. In BIOS, go to Advanced or CPU Power Management Settings. Disable Intel Speed Step or EIST and AMD Cool and Quiet. These features adjust CPU speed based on load, causing throttling. Turn them off to maintain full performance. Disable C States. These power-saving states lower CPU performance. Disable most C states, but leave C1E enabled for stability. Increase package power limits, PL1 and PL2, to higher values or unlimited to remove any power caps on your CPU. For AMD Ryzen, disable global C state control and set power supply idle control to typical current idle to prevent the CPU from downclocking unnecessarily. Driver overrides. Disable Intel or AMD power governors in device manager. This stops Windows from managing CPU power and throttling. For Intel systems, run these commands to stop and disable the Intel PPM service. For AMD systems, run these commands to disable the AMD PPM service. Final steps. By adjusting these BIOS settings and disabling driver-based throttling, you'll prevent Windows and the firmware from restricting your CPU's performance. This will give you more consistent, full-speed operation, especially during heavy workloads. And that's it. You've just disabled Windows Dynamic Power Throttling or DPTF slash PPM and freed your CPU slash GPU from hidden power governors. The difference? No more random FPS drops mid-match, no more sudden clock speed cuts, way more consistent frame times, especially in competitive games. If this guide helped, smash like, drop a comment if you want me to cover GPU side hidden throttling, NVIDIA Boost or AMD Chill next and subscribe for more legendary tweaks. Now your system isn't just fast, it's finally unleashed.